And Shad Howard, who was a last-minute replacement in this fight, coming off a fight against a pretty good welterweight out of New York City, Demetrius Salida, the Orthodox Jew who only fights after sundown. <laughs> but Demetrius beat him in a tough six-rounder. But like I said, Shad Howard is a last-minute replacement. Let's take a look at what was going on the way in yesterday. We're fighting at the welterweight division. It will be an eight-round fight. And there's Shad Howard rating in. And he will be at 144 and a half. There's the face-off. Junior, a handsome young man, it should be said. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Junior comes in with a uh, reach advantage, usually, as he does tonight. A height advantage is not here. Also, the age advantage goes to Chavez Jr. They're bringing him along slowly. He's slowly. had a lot of yeah, fights, exactly. as they should. His father came yeah. along shortly. I'll get into those in just a minute. But the rules will be fighting under the night here in Hidalgo, Texas. The unified rules, three-point system, I mean, ten-point system, three judges, no standing eight count. The three-knockdown rule is not in effect. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. And we don't want to see this, but if there's an accidental foul, they'll go to the scorecards after round four, like a, a cut, which... Uh, James has made jokes about. James <laughs> Lehan knows a little bit about the cuts. Yeah. But our first one, as we hear the ring heating up, I've seen James Lehan, a ton of those red bandanas like Senior used to wear. And what a tough legacy to I follow. I mean, Junior has a following already. I mean, of course his dad has, but you know what? That's what he has. He has his dad, and that's something he gets to uh, live off and, and uh, make it work for him. And it's working for him now, and he has a fan base. And But you know what? He still has to prove himself inside the ring. Here comes Shad Howard, who uh, is coming into this fight knowing what he's up against. He's, the crowd is going to be well against him as he steps into the ring. He is the designated loss. It would be a huge upset, we should say, if he was able to beat the legacy of Chavez Jr. Already getting booed, he hasn't even thrown a yeah. punch by this crowd. It's a packed house in here. And like I said, these fans have been ready for this all night, and it's a great place for boxing. You know the South Texas oh, fans. Oh, it's incredible. I fought here, and uh, I just love it. The people know boxing. They want to be in, they want to be involved. They want to be in the ring with you. <laughs> but uh, it's incredible, and uh, I, I love fighting here. And just look at, look at the atmosphere here. It's a tremendous atmosphere. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., as James said, 20 years old now, but he's already a three-year pro. We've seen a lot of development of him, his body filling out a little bit, working on his speed, working on his yeah. technique. He's become a draw at the gate. You can hear the crowd already. Now, Junior was born in February 1986 after his father had won the WBC Super Featherweight World title 17 months earlier and had already made three successful title defenses. But at the same age, at the same age, Senior was 35 and 0 with 32 knockouts, which how incredible Chavez was. 35 and 0 with 32 knockouts. Here comes Junior. Both fighters, Dad and Junior, had very little amateur experience. Made their pro debuts at 17. The crowd is going nuts. He's like a rock star down here in Tobago. And as I've mentioned many times when I've seen this young man fight, his father was initially against him fighting. And you know the story behind that, James. I mean, a lot of fathers don't. This yeah. is a tough business. I don't let my kids fight. Uh, the youngest one may want to fight, but I do not want them to fight at all. And I won't let them, because I tell them the best way to get to the top is with an education. And uh, boxing, it's, it's, it's like winning a lottery to make it in boxing. Let's go to our ring announcer, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dodge Arena in Hidalgo, Texas, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated, in association with the Dodge Arena and HBO Sports, present an evening of world-class professional boxing. This is tonight's special attraction, set for eight rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Damas y caballeros, este combate pactado a ocho asaltos en la división peso welter the judges los jueces tony garcia raul ortega and rick walker referee ruben carrion introducing the blue corner presentando a la esquina azul he steps into the ring wearing black trunks trimmed in white vestido de negro con color blanco weighing in at 144 and one half pounds. Su peso oficial, 
144 libras y media. His professional record, 12 victories, along with eight losses, three draws, and six of his victories coming by way of knockout. Su record profesional, 12 victorias, con ocho derrotas, tres empates, y seis de sus victorias por medio de knockout. Fighting out of Russellville, Missouri, Shad. Crazy Train Howard. And in the red corner, in the esquina roja, wearing the colors of Mexico, green, white, and red. Vestido de tricolor mexicano, verde, blanco, y rojo. Weighing in at 148 and one half pounds. Su peso oficial, 148 libras y media. As a professional, he is undefeated with 27 victories. One draw and 21 of his victories coming by way of knockout. A nivel profesional, mantiene un record invicto de 27 victorias con un empate y 21 victorias por medio de knockout. The blood of a champion runs through his veins. Damas y caballeros, la sangre de un campeón corre por sus venas. Y esta noche, la leyenda continúa. De Culiacán, Sinaloa, México. Julio César Chávez Jr. Chief second only. Let's go, Chavez. Let's go, Chavez. Let's go, Chavez. You and all the P fine trucks in the dressing. Any questions? Any questions? All right, I'm gonna call to you again. Obey my commands at all times. Most important of all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch those. Final instructions from Ruben Carrion, who'll be the third man in the ring tonight. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in the familiar colors of Mexico. Never thought about boxing, he said, until he was age 16. His younger brother, Omar, is 15, currently boxes in an amateur. The brother, Christian, 12, does not box yet, but he might. <laughs> His average length of bouts for Jr. is two. Uh, 2.8 rounds is what he averages. He's scheduled for eight tonight. Welterweights. Now he had, I saw him earlier. He had trouble sometimes, like his father, starting a little bit slow. Uh -huh. And the six rounders, he got caught. He had some trouble with one fighter in his career. The only problem he's had a fighter named Carlos Molina. And they fought in Monterey, Mexico, at a six-round draw. Then they fought again in a majority decision in Vegas against Carlos Molina. And he, uh, this was back in uh, five, and he won that. But he's been very busy this year. Three-year pro, as I said, and we'll see what he brings to the ring. I mean, I would, he's on the job training. That's what he's doing. He says he's still a rookie. He's very realistic about it. But James, I would not want to have to live up to the legacy of his oh, father. But he's got to be his own man. Exactly. And, you know, he looks so much like him. He dresses like him. So how can you not compare him? You have to compare him. And, and I think he, he's, uh, he's he's learned how to deal with that already. But he is his own man. Different fighter. Uses reach a lot more than Chavez he used to work his way in. He is 5'11. He does have advantages. Good skills, well trained, as you can imagine. His father is his manager. It's tough for a senior to watch him, he says. It would be for me. I know it would be for you and your children. Chad Howard's in the black trunks. Basically a journeyman. The designated loss on the road to greatness, people hope, for Junior. But you know what? Any man in the ring, as you know, James Leha, is a danger. Every man, and especially someone that doesn't expect to win. So what does he have to lose? Body punch from Junior, and then a good combination coming straight back from Howard. But if you expect to win, you have to let those hands go, and you cannot just wait for the other guy to, to dictate the pace. You have to go after him. Chavez is a very patient fighter, you'll find out. Nice little left hand there from Howard, yeah, but he gets caught by the jab, yeah. This is a typical uh, Chavez first round. Very cautious, seeing what he's up against. 
Got eight rounds. Hooking that hook to the body, just like his dad. Well, that was his dad was devastating with yeah. the body punches. I'll tell you the strengths we've seen so far in Junior. He's aggressive. He's got good skills, good movement. Sharp combination punches like his father, the left hook. He's a good body punch. And his body is filling out. His speed is better, and he's making good progress. <laughs> Who has more ads on his trunks, NASCAR <laughs> drivers or him? I think he has to be. Yeah. A lot of room, though, in boxing. Well, he has. He really has good technique. I mean, he does everything right. I just don't think he has the power yet, but he's still young. He's going to give it up into that power later on in the years. Yeah. <laughs> 